Hello everybody, it's Claire from Clear Path Guidance and Tarot coming to you for your monthly love reading uh, for April for the sign of Leo. I decided to use the Lenormand deck again. It's been a few months and it's a tough deck to read. So I've come to learn that when you read these, these cards, it's two at a time. It's a pair. So I'm only going to pull two cards and then I'll pull a card from Doreen Virtue's um, uh, or Romance Angels. So, and then I'll combine the two cards. I'll read them separately and then I'll combine them. And it kind of talks about what the combination means together. Now, this is just a general reading. Just to remind you, it will not resonate for every person out there that is a Leo. All right. If you like a personal reading, I can definitely do that for you. It's $40 for a reading. And I, um, I have you email me your questions. And then what I'll do is I will record the, the video, the reading, I'll record it, send you the link, and then you can view it, and then you can ask follow-up questions if you like. All right, so the very first card here is number 22, and you can see it kind of is a heart. Um, it really talks about choices. You have two choices, and each choice is good. You can see one has sunlight, and the other one has daylight. You can see the sky in one, and you can see the sky in the other. It's really telling you it's not a, not bad choices either way. It's like saying, who wants ice cream? Would you like chocolate or would you like chocolate fudge? Or would you like vanilla? Cho like ice cream is good. So whatever flavor you have, you're having ice cream. So, you know, it's just telling you both are good choices. Both are good. So it says here, there comes a time when one needs to make the choice of going one way or the other. Neither way is right or wrong, but only one way can be taken. Here in the Riviere, we have steps that take us upwards and onwards towards this point of deliberation. Stairs and steps are symbolic of ascending to a higher place, a much better place, where once you are through the doors at the top, the, at the top, sorry, I can't read. Once you are through the doors at the top that lead to the stars, then the possibilities are infinite. So you've got the red here, the red carpet. Red always signifies passion. And... Um, it's saying whatever door you pick, it's not going to be wrong. It has to do with love, I would say, because look at the shape of that. It almost looks like a heart. All right. Okay. So the next card here I pulled is, and I pulled this one, I believe, just for the lap for, um, I might have been for cancer, um, number 23, and this is mice. So um, this is a symbolic, is it symbolic of loss or the gradual whittling away of one's savings, or actual theft. Um, their presence brings into the reading a bite-sized effect, something happening in little chunks. That it is not to say it is not a powerful card, that mice may be delightful, but not when found in your own kitchen. They are the niggling aspect of life, where there is an issue, something that has become a pest in your life, and will just not go away and leave you alone. It leaves your mind troubled. So this card also advises you to take care of your possessions. And it talks about these mice are like hoarders, right? They can hoard. So I would say um, perhaps like it, just by what I'm kind of getting from this, you've got two choices. Maybe the one, what's going on in your life right now, you know, something is whittling away at you. Maybe there's something going on in your relationship that you don't like um, and you can't put your finger on it. This here card depicts of you whittling away at it, hoping you can get to the bottom of it. Um, when I put the two cards together, uh, it says it's stressful choices, exhaustion, and strain. So I believe you having to pick a choice between these two, one of them is causing you anxiety, exhaustion, strain. And so for example, okay, let's say you're married and let's say you are involved with somebody else. Um, it could be that the, the third party, you feel like it's whittling away at your mind, at your head. You can't take this anymore. It's gnawing at you. You have two choices to make. You can't live like this forever. So what, what this card here is saying, you can either stay in the marriage, which is fine, it's fine, or you can choose 
to go with a person that makes you um, feel alive. And having to make that choice, this card is saying that that the way you are right now, it's um, there is choices, exhaustion, strain. It's whittling away at you, and that you should you should make this choice soon. Nobody can live like that forever. It's not easy. All right. So I will pull a card from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. Or whatever the situation. It doesn't have to be that situation. It could be anything. It could be two jobs. It could be something. Your children, your parents, something. You know, but that's just kind of like my, the only kind of example I could come up with. All right. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So whatever is going on here in respects to your situation, and it doesn't always refer to the same, you know, to everybody, you know, but this card here talks about true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So whatever is going on in your life, it's true love. Don't doubt it. You've got it. Embrace it. Okay? All right, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful April, all you Leos out there, and thank you for watching. All right, bye-bye.